Before we hop into today's video, I have to let you know about something super exciting. My new sneaker discord called Hype Alerts. This will be a sneaker discord that will teach you everything you need to know about sneaker reselling. Whether you have all the experience or no experience in sneaker reselling, this is a discord you're going to want to be in. We have it open for free until June 19th, which is when it will become a membership subscribed discord. And on June 19th, it will only start at a very low price of $29.99 a month. This discord will teach you how to make thousands of dollars in sneakers with little to no experience. So go to the top of my description, click the link, and go check out the Discord before it becomes a paid membership on June 19th, like I said. And with all that being said, let's get into this video. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty special video. I am slowly getting back into the sneaker game and I'm hoping for a comeback on my YouTube, which is probably pretty obvious now because I'm producing such high quality content. Your boy happened to spend a little over $10,000 on StockX recently. I'm hoping this becomes a series where I'm able to produce a video every few weeks showing you guys my latest sneaker pickups, AKA sneaker hauls. This will be number one of this series and I'm hoping that we can continue this series. We have a lot of shoes to unbox today. I'm gonna go one by one. I'm gonna give you guys my price estimate kind of on the top of my head. These were all purchased from StockX. They're all gonna have a little receipt in them and then all the little StockX goodies that StockX puts on all of their um, shoes that you buy. Before we get too deep, Deep into today's video, I wanted to let you guys know about something really exciting that I am about to launch. It is Hyped Alerts. Hyped Alerts is going to be the top sneaker discord. And for a limited time, we actually opened it up for free. The link will be in the top of the description down below. All you guys literally have to do is go click the link in the description, check it out, and let me know what you guys think. It will be a paid membership based discord after June 19th. So I'm hoping that you guys can get in there early, check it out, see what's up with it, and let me know what you guys think. So with all that being said, Said, go check that out for me. It'd be much, much appreciated. And let's get into this video. So I think we're just gonna go one by one and then I'm gonna lay out all the shoes right here in front of me so we can kind of go over everything at the end. I do have some doubles and triples of certain shoes and that's just because I am starting to collect again and I wanna build my sneaker collection. And I just decided it was time for me to re-up the collection and get into the sneaker game again. As I throw the prices up on the screen of everything accumulated together, it's not to boast or brag, but it's just to share with you guys how much I spent on StockX. I think this is actually a pretty interesting series that you guys will like. So make sure you guys drop a like down below if you guys enjoy this type of content and let's just get into it. All right, so for the first sneaker, we have a pair of Jordan 1s and these are the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s. I know I have a few pairs of these in this pack right here. These go for around $450. I really like these. This is one of the more popular recently released Jordan 1s and I don't want to talk too much about all this because this would be an hour long video, but this is the first pair and I believe we can price these at $450. All right, second pair I'm actually super excited about. I haven't really looked at these in person, but this is a woman's exclusive Jordan 1 release. And right here, the box is really sick. And then all this stuff. And right here, we have a pair of, I don't even know what you'd call them. I guess it says they're core purples. So are these the core purple 4.0s possibly? I have no idea, you guys tell me. But we'll just go with the Core Purple 4.0s. These are very, very cool. I love the leather quality. It has a really nice tumbled leather and I love the gloss purple accents throughout the upper of the sneaker. All right, we got a few foam runners. We're probably gonna try to grind through these pairs a little bit faster. I have a pair of the new Mineral Blue Foam Runners. I actually have a few pairs of these as well. I think these are really comfortable and I think for the price that they're at right now, 250 to 300, I think it's a great cop. And I feel like these are gonna go up in the future, so I don't mind holding these one bit. We're gonna throw those Foam Runners at 250 on the scoreboard. The next shoe is a pretty basic but pretty clean pair of Air Force Ones. These are, I believe they're called Black Pebble Swoosh Air Force Ones. These are just really clean. These are personal for sure that I'm gonna wear. Also guys, which I don't think I made clear, I will not be wearing all all of these shoes and that is just because I want to start collecting again and I honestly just think sneakers are a way safer investment if they're brand new which I'm sure all you guys can agree with so I will not be wearing all of these but there are a few personals that I will probably on DS and whatnot all right next shoe we have a pair of easy slides easy slides are really really cool but one thing I noticed if you leave them out in the Sun they actually shrink which is really weird because I had a size 11 in the peers and they totally just shrunk on me and I had to give them to my girlfriend because they didn't fit me anymore so don't 
don't leave your Yeezy slides in the sun. They go for like 300 on StockX, so we'll price these at 300. But these are just super comfortable. If you don't have a pair yet, I'd recommend getting a pair because this is another sneaker that I see going for a lot later down the road, especially around Christmas time. I think these could skyrocket. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, Blake, how do you know all this stuff with sneakers? Who's telling you all this stuff? This is all information that we will be discussing and have already pumped out in our Discord hyped alerts. So make sure if you guys haven't checked it out yet, it will be the top link in the description. We're giving you guys free access till June 19th to check it out and everything before it becomes a paid membership. At $29.99 a month, the group is totally worth it. So make sure you guys go check it out. As we keep pushing, we have a pair of Jordan DMP 6s. The reason why I picked these up is because I wanted a variety of shoes that I'm holding. I know that I probably wouldn't wear these. Sixes aren't really my style, but these are just pretty clean in my opinion. It's just a dope clean Jordan to hold on to if you're able to hold on to shoes, which I am fortunately blessed to be able to hold on to all these shoes. And yeah, you can't go wrong with these. I'll put these at 250. I think retail is 250. So we'll just put them at 250. All right, as we keep pushing through these, I have a couple pairs of Yeezy 700s. These are actually super, super clean. And I think I'm gonna keep a pair for the personal. They're very comfortable. They can be used as workout shoes and they kind of hold you down. They actually don't have a normal lace system, which is kind of interesting, but these I would put at around $300. I think they're more on stock X after fees, but we'll put these at 300. If we keep pushing, I think we have another pair. Yeah, we have another pair. These are Yeezy 700 D3s, by the way, and this is just another pair I list at 300. I believe these are V2 though, of the 700, and I do actually have another pair of these in here as well. These are a pair of the cream Yeezy 700 D2s. Not my favorite shoe, but we have seen a lot of these um, 700s go up in the past. I didn't mind holding a few pairs of these because I did get pretty close to retail pricing, and I feel like these could possibly shoot up in the future. So we'll put these at 300 too. All right, as we keep pushing, I have another pair of Jordan 1s, and this is another pair of the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s. I told you guys I did have a few pairs of these in here. Just a super clean Jordan 1 colorway. You can't really go wrong with. And I do feel like these with the University Blue Jordan 1s will for sure go up closer to the end of this year. All right, another pair that I'm really excited to have for the personal collection is the Supreme Air Force Ones. I think these are just so clean. I don't really prefer these red laces. I think it kind of ruins the shoe. But if you guys have never owned a pair of these, the leather on these Supreme Air Forces is actually higher quality. I know it's stupid to say, oh, you're gonna go spend $200 for a blank pair of Air Forces with Supreme on the back. Yes, I know it's stupid, but believe it or not, these are actually probably gonna go back up in price closer to the 300 range later on this year. If you do have a pair of these in your collection, you can vouch that the quality is a lot nicer on these than a regular pair of Air Forces. All right, as we keep pushing, these I actually got for the personal collection and I already did wear them. These right here are the Om Leon Door New Balance 550s. I did get a few pairs of these for the personal. These are just so clean, you cannot go wrong. And I just think it's a great shoe that you can beat up and they'll last you a while. And the color blocking on this shoe is just beautiful. I totally lost track of where we were with how much all this stuff is worth, but it will be on the screen thanks to my editing team. Right here we have a pair of Reeboks. These are a pair of Mason Margiela Reeboks. I saw these at the mall actually and they didn't have my size so I just ordered them off of StockX. I don't know if this is the right box because I kind of mixed some of these up because they were in my sneaker room and I wanted to pull all these out. But these are really clean and I think they're a slept on shoe but they are a little pricey. They were around $300 but if you guys see the details of these in person, they're pretty nuts. Alright, if we keep going, these are a pair of Jordan 4s that I actually bought for my girlfriend. My girlfriend's gotten into sneakers a lot recently and I thought these would be a great addition in her collection. They just came and they were around $350. These are one of the most recent Jordan 4s that I really liked. All right, we're gonna keep pushing through this. We have another pair of Jordan 1s. These I was very excited about. My bid on StockX actually was accepted and it was under $600. These go for around seven to $800 right now. And these are a pair of core purple Jordan 1s. These are brand new and these are just so clean and I love the purple vibe because it does match my car. Purple is probably one of my favorite colors right now. And the color blocking on this shoe, if you know, you know. Beautiful Jordan 1. A few other New Balances. I don't believe these are a collab with AM Leon Door, but these are just super clean. I got another Foam Runner, another pair of the Mineral Blues, another pair of 700 V2s. I put these at like 300. This is yet another pair of the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s. These are a pair of the Spartan Green Nike Dunk Lows. I really like these. These will probably be for the personal. I really like how the colors came out on this specific dunk. So we keep going. I got more pairs 
these Supreme Air Forces. Now we get into some other Jordan 1s. These are a pair of University Blue Jordan 1s. And if you guys didn't know, I do actually have a current giveaway going on for these. And all you gotta do to enter the giveaway, subscribe to the channel, go to this video right here, drop a like on that video, and then comment your Instagram, as well as your favorite cryptocurrency on that video, because that's how I'm gonna pick the winner on June 27th, which is my birthday. And what better way to give back than on my birthday? All right, so we keep pushing through. Got another pair. This is a personal pair. I already wore these ones. I'm keeping a pair of these for sure. Shadow 2.0 Jordan 1s. Probably for the personal. I mean, if I wanted to invest in these, I'd probably have to buy like 10 to 15 pairs to really make some good profit off these. This is a shoe you probably have to hold on to until the end of the year, like Christmas time again. I feel like people are gonna love these because they're a little bit more affordable than those because those go for like five, six hundred dollars. These go for like 250 to 300, you know? As we keep pushing through, another pair of University Blue Jordan 1s. But yeah, we have one, two, three, four pairs so far in this video. One will be given away. So I have three right now to myself. These are a pair of Dunk Highs. Brand new pair, I believe. This was a rep box though. I don't believe these were purchased off StockX. These were actually from a buddy of mine, a reseller. That's where they come with a replacement box. But just another very clean sneaker, high top. Probably for the personal because I don't have the original box. But these are just super clean. I love the white and light gray color blocking. These are also not from StockX. I guess I just happened to throw them in here. But these are a pair of Dior Lives. These are actually super clean. These were actually really expensive. I don't know why, it's because it's Dior. But yeah, these are the B23 sandals. We have another pair of the Cream Easy 700s. Another pair of New Balances. Let's see which ones these are. These are actually really nice. These are the burgundy colorway of the New Balance 550s. All right, this is another pair of Reeboks. This is just a simple pair of Reeboks. I caught for the personal collection. You know, right here we have a pair of Jordan 5s. These are a pair of Raging Bull Jordan 5s. Another slept on shoe. I had an original pair a few years back. Sold them for a pretty good price. So I kind of wanted to get these back in the collection. And these go for like 250, 300 right now, which I think is a great price. Very slept on shoe. Yet another pair of the Cream 700s. I knew that I did have a few pairs of these. All right, now we get into a bunch of Yeezys, a bunch of foam liners. Just a pair of the Sands. They won't be going for 300 much longer. I think they're gonna shoot up. We can just run through some of these. This is another pair of the foam runners. Another pair of the Sands. Let's see what we have in here. These are a pair of Nike ID Dunk Lows. I um, actually got these off a buddy of mine. Wow, another pair of the cream. All right. These are a pair of off-white Hollow Z blazers. These are actually super, super clean. These are for the personal collection. We only have three more shoes left. This is another pair of Jordan 1s. This is a brand new pair of Mocha. This is a very expensive shoe right now, so I wouldn't really recommend buying into it. They go for 550 to 600 on all these marketplaces. If you can get them for under $400, I would say pull the trigger. But to load up on a bunch of pairs of these, I don't know if they're gonna go a lot higher than what they already go for. They already go for $600. That's a lot. That's why I'm copying a bunch of those universities blues because they're going for around 500 right now. I think there's still a little bit of room to work with, but I don't think that these could go up much higher than seven, eight hundred dollars All right, we got two more pairs of Yeezys and then this video will be wrapped up, but this is another pair of sand foam runners. Like I told you guys, really, really smart shoe to invest in right now, whether it's for the personal collection or for the investment. All right, and the last pair of sneakers is a size 10 sand foam runner. I got about one, two, three, four, five, six foam runners that we showed off in this video. All right guys, so I'm gonna close out this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. There's a lot of dope things coming to this channel and I actually have five huge boxes sitting right behind the camera, which I'll show you guys in a second. That will be for a part two of this video. That is from a sneaker store out in Florida. I totally purchased a bunch of stuff and cashed out. Let me know down below your favorite sneaker that you guys saw in today's video. I wanna see what you guys thought. 